All right, what's going on guys? It's GCP here. So you guys ever wonder why YouTubers always seem to be complaining, especially about Modern Warfare? Well, let me tell you guys something. It's because the developers said that in the beginning of this game or even before it came out, that it was going to accommodate all play styles. But I have been so proven wrong when this game came out. Honestly, one of the few things that I saw that was a major problem was the fact that the footsteps were just way too loud. Dead silence was not a perk. I was like, what? How do you not have dead silence as a perk when it's been a perk in every single Call of Duty game as of recent? So that was kind of confusing. And then you have skill-based matchmaking that has been turned up by a million in this game and it seems like every single chance or every single match after you do well, you're going to get paired up with even more sweats. And I can complain about skill-based matchmaking all day long and how it doesn't belong in the game because of obvious reasons. Because you don't want a sweat fest or a ranked playlist 24-7. I believe mixed playlists work best because you want to come across noobs and tryhards, you know, in different matches. Not all the time, but honestly, look at this, man. I mean, just watch this gameplay. This was a very frustrating gameplay because not only did we go to time limit, but at the same time, I came across people who just were playing very, very passive and just, I don't know, man. It was very, very frustrating for me. And especially, and especially as somebody who likes to rush, this game just does not accommodate my play style, my preferred play style. One of the things that Modern Warfare did wrong was the fact that they made this playstyle more catered to noobs. Players who actually like to camp and play at a much, much slower pace. So that's why this game is frustrating to a lot of us out there who like to run and gun. And it's even more frustrating when they have told us that it is going to accommodate all playstyles when it obviously does not. On top of all the bugs that are plaguing this game with every update, it seems like they're breaking the game and making it worse. You know, it just, it does not get any better for this game. That's why I'm more looking forward to the next Call of Duty game than this one. And yes, before I was having fun here and there in this game, and there are short or brief moments, brief periods of time where I will have fun in this game. Don't get me wrong. It's not always terrible but there are way more instances of me actually frustrated in this game and in every single match than I have an enjoyable time and that is pretty sad it's it's pretty sad because I enjoyed this franchise I enjoy the Call of Duty series but it seems like this Call of Duty game in particular has not been very kind to people who want to move just move I want to just move but this game Gives the advantage to players who want to hide in the back, who want to lean or mount, and also players who just plain out want to stay in the exact same spawn or exact same spot and just have people come over to them. And they have the advantage. So anyone who at least tries to move in their general direction to at least have some sort of movement to have some sort of ability to move the game forward, to actually get some kills, to actually not reach time limit, those people will be punished. And that's what happens in this game. We, the people who like to move, the players who actually like to rush, or who actually like to run the gun, you know, to, who don't like to stay in one spot, we get punished. And honestly, that is a huge problem with this game and honestly that's not the way that call of duty games should go that's not the direction that we want to move forward in this is more of a tactical shooter than a fun arcade shooter that we have known to love call of duty for being i mean it just keeps getting worse i mean i don't know man i don't know how players genuinely have fun in this game i mean i can see how this game would be fun for players who are maybe a little more passive who like to play at a slow pace, players who don't like to move. I totally get it. I really do because that's what you're doing. You have an advantage for staying in a spot, for staying, you know, in a particular area and just waiting for those players, the players who are dumb enough to come over and get killed by you because you could just sound whore them from a mile away. 
And obviously you are already aimed down sights, so you have the huge advantage over those players who are going to be running and gunning because guess what? Not only are they going to be heard, but they have to take time to aim down sights, which again, this game penalizes those players for aiming down sights because there's a lot of attachments that will penalize you for putting on certain attachments, like even tape. A simple tape will hinder your ability to aim down sights. Like that is absolutely ridiculous, man. That should not be the case. That is not realistic. For a game that touts the fact that they are being very realistic, that is not realistic. I mean, in real life, I mean, if you think about it, how can tape around your magazine or around your stock or whatever the case, just anywhere on your weapon, how does that hinder your ability to aim down sights? Just Does that tape stick to your fingers and just prevent you from aiming down sights? Like, I, I don't get it. Like, you know, I mean, what? See, some of the stuff in this game just does not make sense for it being as quote unquote realistic as it could be like it's just not it, it just i don't know man it's just crazy to think about but the more i think about this game the more i want to do well in this game the more i want to move in this game the more this game penalizes me for doing so and honestly skill-based matchmaking has been talked about widely and how they are trying to implement it in other games and honestly skill-based matchmaking is the worst thing that they can do for a pub match if you want skill-based matchmaking in a game make a ranked playlist have it in that game a pub match should be focused on best connection the connection should be key you want to have players mixed in with all skill levels where it's a more casual experience. If you want to have skill-based matchmaking in the game, the ranked playlist should incentivize players for actually ranking up. Not only for ranking up, but also give them rewards for actually having that rank. So that way they are rewarded for playing against other sweats. It will give you a competition, give you some sort of incentive to keep playing it and climb up in the ranks. But not in pub matches. Why? You want to protect noobs all the time. I don't get it. Also, there was a, a Twitter follower of mine who actually tweeted me a link saying that this game actually will determine how good of a lobby or how bad of a lobby you're going to be put in if you are accurate with your shots. Not just your KD, so not even if you're going negative, but your gun accuracy. So if you're shooting at players and you're not very accurate or you're hip firing all over the place and your shots are just not hitting their targets, then guess what? The game is going to read that and it's going to determine the types of players who are just as bad with their accuracy as you are and pair you up with those types of players. But if you are good with your shots, if you have good aim, if you have good accuracy and gun skill as well, if your shots are hitting their targets, guess what? You're going to be playing with people who have aimbot on basically or players who are just as good as you in aiming so that's how this game determines that factor with that whole skill based matchmaking system all put together and it is absolutely something that i do not agree with 100 percent so that's just something that i have to talk to you guys about today something that i was frustrated with and just have to get this off of my chest because the games that i've been getting into lately just because i'm a decent player at this game or any call of duty game for that matter because i have good aim because i actually run around i get penalized and that should not happen for any call of duty game or for any multiplayer or shooter game for that matter but that's just what I think. It might be an unpopular opinion. It might not be. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think? And I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload. And with that being said, this is GCP signing off.